Hey there, thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm just going to show you this plugin that you're looking at uh, called Prevent Direct Access Protect WordPress Files. Uh, now, why would you want to use this? Um, maybe you want to protect a media file that you've uploaded to the media library on your website. So um, you want to stop people from accessing it through the URL of the media library or media file, I should say. So um, before I get into this, I just want to make a note. This is the free version or the light version of the plugin. There is a uh, gold version, as it says here, um, gold. Uh, so there is a pro version, and uh, the free version um, only protects PDF, uh, P PNG, JPEG, PDF, DOCX, PPTX, and MP3, MP4, MP3, which is pretty much most files. Um, but if you have any other file types, then it won't protect those. Um, and you can do a whole, you can do, still do a few things um, within the free version as well, which is pretty neat. But um, you can do a lot more with the the gold version, um, which I'll leave you to look at if you want. Um, I just wanted to sort of go over the light features. So I've gone ahead and I've installed this plugin, as you can see there, and um, you'll then notice a menu item in the dashboard. So if you go to settings. Um, you can see the settings. Now, um, my development server here, which is on local, uh, is on a Nginx server, so I had to add this rewrite rule to the Nginx config file of the, of the site. So, um, if you're on an Apache server, and you may not know what server you're on, um, but this actually tells you as well, uh, looks like you're using Nginx, so you have to, um, doesn't have HTTP uh, access type capability, because Nginx doesn't use HT access files. But if you're on a Apache, it will automatically add the rewrite rules for you into that file. Um, if you don't know, then reach out to your host and ask them, and uh, you may have to get them to add this rewrite rule, write, rewrite rule for you if you're on Nginx and you don't have access to the, those web um, config files. All right, so moving on. Um, so under file protection settings, um, I, usually, I, I would select the admin users. So select user roles who can access protected files through their file URLs. So that means that you can um, be logged in and you can view the files, um, but only admins, not any general users. And you can customize the no access page so you can put up a, a special message, like you can send it, send. Uh, send them to a specific page if you want that you want to create for that. Uh, it just defaults to the 404 not found page, so uh, which I'll show you in a minute. But you can um, create a page and you can you know type it in and it will come up in this this field here. So I'm just going to leave it blank. Uh, some other security options here, which are pretty neat, um, which only work on Apache servers apparently. Now I have tried the disable right click option on my test site here and it works. So I'm just going to go ahead and save those changes. And there is an option here to uh, restrict based on IP as well, uh, which I won't go through, but the option is there for you. All right, so let's go into the media library. Um, now, you might be in two, there's two views, right? You got the list view and then you got the grid view here. So if you're in the grid view, it's up to you. Uh, you can go to the list view and then You'll see down the side here under the prevent direct access, you've got this um, big, uh, this, this new panel or new column, I should say. And let's just say I want to, uh, I've got this dotted image PNG, I want to protect that file, right? I don't want anybody to find it uh, via its URL, which is just here. Yeah. So if I go to the URL, I put it in, um, and then you can see the file, right? But I don't want people to do that. I want to be able to prevent people from doing that. So there's two ways you can do this. Uh, so in the list view, you can go into configure file protection and then hit protect this file. Now, of course, if I go to the file URL now, I will still be able to see it because I'm logged into the website. I'm actually an admin of the site. But if I go into incognito mode and I'm not logged in, I can't see it. It doesn't show. Oops, that page can't be found. So that's defaulting to the default 404 page. 
So that's working, right? Now, the other way to protect a file, if you're in grid view, uh, let's go to grid view now. Um, all you do is just click on the image and then under the under the, um, the sidebar here, you'll see prevent direct access. Click that button and then it's done, right? But you don't see the, um, you don't see any other field there, right? So you kind of, kind of sort of, um, oh, that's interesting, like it puts a little red thing around it, which kind of indicates the um, the file is, is locked, which is pretty neat. If you go into um, the list view again, then you'll be able to go in and check out a few other things. Um, so when you do protect a file, it generates a private link, right? So if you want to give people access to that media file, maybe it's a PDF, right? And you don't want the internet to know where the file is by Google's, you know, indexing that file, and then people can fi find it. Then it generates a private download link, so you can grab that, and you can then send them that, right? And then they'll be able to see the file because it's on the private link. So, and of course, you know, it's not full foolproof because people can protect, uh, sorry, send, you know, share that link with their friends and family, and then they'll be able to get access to the file too. Uh, so. Yeah, there's, there's that. It's not 100%, right? You're relying on people's trust. Anyway, that's it. That's all I wanted to share. Uh, so thanks for watching. I hope that kind of helps you if you're looking for a solution like this. Um, if you have any um, you know, comments, please put them down below. Uh, if you like the video, you know, like the video. I'd love to see your like. Thumbs up. Um, and uh, yeah, if you uh, also want to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and do that. You'll be notified of all my upcoming videos if you hit the bell notification. Make sure you do that. And uh, yeah, and I'll be putting out some more uh, content on plugin reviews and stuff like that when I come across them. So thanks again for stopping by, and I will see you in the next video. All right, bye for now.